welcome back guys so this is just the conclusion of the first video which is how to curb risk in libya as a foreigner do you understand so how to curb risk and this is just the societal part of the first video i, I recorded do you understand so the first thing i'll be talking about is avoid unnecessary gatherings do you understand so when you notice that the people you are with or the people you are discussing with you guys are more than two or three just please I'm begging you please excuse yourself from that kind of gathering you understand because you guys know that once you guys are more than two or three somebody might just call the police on you guys or probably the police might just pass and arrest you guys and before you know it they will say you guys do this you guys did that and everything is just false but we only know that it's a lie why because we are here but people outside the country or people at the other end of the world will not know what actually transpired they will think you guys actually did it do you understand what i'm trying to say so avoid unnecessary gatherings and all these things that i see people throwing party anyhow i don't know how people think i'm not saying parties are bad or parties are good and everything like that i'm just saying how would you throw a party in a country where you are not wanted do you understand so it's just like that i'm not saying don't throw party i'm just saying you know you don't have to you, you do, in fact you don't you don't need somebody to tell you that these people don't they, do, they don't want you in their country you understand so throwing party is actually unnecessary do you understand so know the kind of party you will be attending so you not go and attend party that will put you in trouble do you understand what i'm trying to say so be very 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 careful be very 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 careful Avoid unnecessary gatherings, parties, I'll be staying in one corner to discuss about something that is meaningless and everything like that, especially for the guys. Be very careful. Then the second thing I'll be talking about is know the kind of apartment you will be staying in. You understand? Make sure you're not staying in an apartment that is circulated by all these libyan guys you know how they used to do they have all their hangouts where they drink and discuss about something stupid you understand what i'm trying to say so avoid that kind of environment especially for the ladies the guys can still endure they can still manage do you understand what i'm trying to say but for the ladies don't even try to take that, that kind of apartment once you see that, that the apartment is close to that kind of area just try and leave and find another apartment and please make sure you trust those that you'll be staying with make sure you trust those that will be staying in the same um building with you because it's possible you take an apartment that that you guys won't be staying alone you know all these apartments now so that's what I'm trying to say. Make sure you know those that you are staying with. Don't go and be staying with strangers that will put you in trouble. You know what I'm trying to say? The, the next thing I'll be talking about is know what to wear in public. You, you understand that we need to respect their tradition. This is an Islamic country. You know what I'm trying to say? So they don't dress anyhow, especially for the ladies. Know how to dress you can snap any picture you want to snap on your phone you know when you get back to your country you can wear whatever you want to wear you understand what i'm trying to say you can wear anything you want to wear but this place we need to compose ourselves dress like they used to dress you understand so we don't get ourselves into trouble you understand what i'm trying to say now but for the guys for the guys guys can wear anything they want to wear but please don't dress like every day is christmas Cause that's where it starts from when they see that you're dressing like every day is christmas they will think you have money and they will trace you to where you are staying that's why some people are victims of armed robbery and everything today because they will trace you once they see that you are you are dripping like you have a, a you, you are you dress well you have goats and everything they will say this guy this guy has arrived they will, they will trace you to where you are staying and collect everything that you have do you understand? You, people here would already understand what I'm trying to say. So you have to be very, very careful about that. So the next thing I'll be talking about is, hmm, please don't forget that if you don't understand their language, if you don't understand Arabic, do not enter their cab. Don't take cab, oh, please. Don't take cab if you don't understand. Because I don't want you to be a victim of kidnap stuff like that they will just kidnap you and that, that will be the end i don't want you to be a victim don't enter cab if you do not understand their language okay so i think 
I have tried my best the little way I can. So I'll see you guys in my next video. But please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So till then, take care.